It's been a hundred years of baseball and counting at this place, and the charm hasn't faded a bit at venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Tonight, we begin a new homestand with the first of three between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here for this NL Central Division matchup. Alcides Escobar move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. On the first, and Escobar set down to open up the ball game. Yeah, probably not an ideal at-bat from your leadoff hitter here in the first. I'd like him to stretch that count a little, try and work his way on base. Instead, he rolls over on the first pitch, and he's gone before you know it. Jason Worth is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Living a little dangerously here. Yeah, you don't have to go looking for trouble. Trouble will find you if you're putting pitches there. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a one-out single. And here's where, on the mound, you got to tell yourself, he you did everything right there. This was an 0-2 pitch, and he did a great job of getting him to hit it on the ground. Just happens to find a hole on the right side. I mean, what are you going to do? And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Bernadina has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. Jose Bautista will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. And he goes after a fastball but pops it up back behind second base. Newcomb has got it and the side is retired. Nothing happening against Cliff Lee here in the first. And now it will be the Cubs turn in a scoreless ball game. Here comes the captain, Derek Jeter, now as he'll lead things off in the home half of inning number one. The shortstop, Derek Jeter. And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. A ball hit softly on a line to third. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Sometimes it's just better to be lucky than good. This ball's not hit hard at all, but it's in a spot where it's going to work out perfectly for him. And he's on base to start this inning with an infield single. James Newcomb will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. A look at Jeter, now the pitch. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that will find the seats, a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Cubs are out in front now, two to nothing. Albert Pujols will stand in, and boy, look at that batting average to start off the month of April. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. No outs, nobody on. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. 
Alfonso Soriano will get his first opportunity now. And you can see that average pushing up near 350 to start things out. Here's a ground ball heading for the hole, and it'll be out of reach for the shortstop Escobar. It's a base hit. I tell you what, anytime you get a first inning visit from your pitching coach, something ain't working out. Now, here's what he's saying. Look, we need you to figure this out. We need some innings out of here. Let's go. And there goes Soriano. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. And that'll hit off the ivy out there. Ah, they're able to tack on one more run here with the RBI double, and that makes it 3-0 here in the first. And things are not starting out too well for that gentleman right there. Jason Castro will stand in now, and beware because he has been off the charts hot here to start the season. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now, and gone! Home run! So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number five on the year. And the Cubs have now opened this up to a 5-0 lead. Corey Hunter will stand in, trying to keep up the hot pace as he's well over 400 here to start the year. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And he'll let it fly from deep in the hole. On to Votto at first, low throw that time, but he's able to dig it out, and they'll record the out. How do you get enough on this throw? That's what I want to know. He gets this thing deep in the hole, then basically just spins and chucks it as he's backing away into left field. I mean, that is some kind of play right there. First pitch coming. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. I'm pretty sure this is not what that man right there had in mind. He's watched this guy really struggle here in the first inning. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. The Cubs lead this one five to nothing. Salvador Perez will stand in off to a real hot start at the plate as he comes into this one sporting a 400 batting average and this is fouled back and out of play. Swinging a ball hit on the ground and he'll take this to the bag himself and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Well and that's exactly what you want to do right there. Get yourself another ground ball and that's a good way to start the second as he gets the easy ground out. Will Middlebrooks will stand in with an even 300 average here in the month of April. Out of play. Grounded foul. Pitch here is bounced right back past him, and it'll carry into center field for a base hit. And on the mound, here's where you got to keep pitching like it's a one-run game. You never want to get in that relaxed mode where you think, eh, I've got some cushion. I, I can afford to. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground to third. Fortunately here, no advance from that runner at second base, so he stays still. But the problems are going to deepen here as he puts runners on first and second now on what will be scored an infield single. Brian Dozier stands in as he looks at a called strike. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. And they get the force for the second out.
Erasmo Ramirez. We'll get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. And he gets ahead 0-1. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. And he got him. Pirates strand a couple. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Cliff Lee will start things off in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming. Now the first pitch of the inning is a fly ball out to straightaway left. Therefore, it is worth one away. Derek Jeter will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. First pitch on its way to Jeter. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Probably his best located pitch so far. Right on the outside corner, and that's the spot he's going to need to start finding. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first, and Jeter's set down for the second out of the inning. And I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. By the time he realized this thing was going to break out of the strike zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is going to get down out there and should get all the way to the Ivy for extra bases. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he will make it up to third base, as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. Well, I think this was going to be two bases for sure, but then all heck breaks loose getting it back in. Quite have taken third on the throwing error. Albert Pujols will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Well, he jumps on this one and hits it high in the air to deep center field. And the route is on now. It's a home run. Albert Pujols, a two-run shot. Career home run number 495 as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Alfonso Soriano will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. The ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Good pitch there on one, two, as this is pulled down to third. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two-run home run. We've played two. It's now 7-0. Alcides Escobar will lead things off here with his guys down seven in the early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great. But you've got time on your side. You don't need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself into slam range. That's four runs down. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now another 0-2. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. One away here to begin the third. And, you know, it's pretty safe to say that anytime you give a guy seven runs of support here in the first half of a ball game, he's probably going to be okay out there. And he gets the first out of this inning here. Jason Worth will dig in. He singled his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. 
Uh, I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. That was a great pitch to hit. And he takes this one high, one and one. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. About time, boys. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. Now, story of the ball game right there, and that's how it goes sometimes in baseball. The hard hit balls find gloves, and the little dribblers find holes. Joey Votto will stand in now. He, of course, the starting first baseman on last season's National League All Star squad. In on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's 1 0. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. Well, one of the real strengths of his game is that he's not going to go after a whole lot of bad pitches out of the strike zone. So he's a guy that's going to make you earn it by only swinging at strikes. Here's Lee with the 2-1. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. 1-2-3 go the Pirates. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Will Smith is going to come out to pitch here, and seeing as though it's just the third inning, he may be asked to work for a while. Wilson Betamie will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. Ruggiano is back near the Ivy as he makes the catch for the first out. And you have to figure, he didn't think he'd be seeking any action this early on, but he's going to need to hold down the fort for a while here now that their starter's already out of the ballgame. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. A chance here for Dozier at second. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. As a manager, you love your relievers to come in and give you plenty of strikeouts. But I'll tell you what, there isn't a manager alive that'll get upset when you come in and get two outs on three pitches. On, he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location, and he is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall, a home run. So it's a solo home run for Torrey Hunter as they've widened this lead to eight now. Now a hard liner towards short. And this will get over his outstretched glove. A great effort there, but it's a base hit. And when you see a guy rip one like this, one pitch after the previous guy left the yard, you know you're dealing with a pitcher whose mind is elsewhere. That'll snap you back to reality, though, pretty quick. Cliff Lee will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And there he goes towards second. Swinging a hard liner to center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster all the way around. Helping his own cause right there, and no need to wait for the RBI guys to drive him in. He says, you know what? I can be an RBI guy, too. That's a great at-bat right there, and that drives in a run. Derek Jeter will try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Flip to Escobar at the bag, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Three innings complete. It's the Cubs nine and the Pirates nothing. Jose Bautista will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Jose Bautista. And the first pitch of the inning is lined into left field, and there's a leadoff base runner. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance, and that ball is gone! Home run! 
Jamel Middlebrooks is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. Oh. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that is through into left field, a base hit. Justin Ruggiano will stand in. A base Justin hit his first time around. Ruggiano. And this is going to be a foul ball. Nobody out, runner on first. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And he struck him out. When you're out there pitching with a 6-7-8 run lead, you can afford to come right at guys 0-2. Why not? Brian Dozier will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. Swing and a line drive to center field. And this is going to fall in front of Bernadina for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly, so it's runners at first and second now with one man out. Will Smith will stand in now, and we'll see if the sacrifice will be on here with one man out. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. Surprised that there's no pinch hitter here? Shocked is more the word for me. You're losing, but you're letting a reliever hit? I just don't get it. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. And the throw will be late at third, and the bases are loaded now. Alcides Escobar will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. And the first pitch misses high here, perhaps trying to get him to pop something up. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, he keeps trying to force that curveball, and it's just not working for him right now. He'll come to the plate with it. They get the force at the plate. Well, it's just a little surprising to me that he'd come home with that ball right there. I mean, look, you've already got the one out. It seemed like a good double play opportunity the traditional way, second to first. Now, it's one thing if that's a really important run late in the game, but by going home, he may have given these guys another shot that they wouldn't have had. Jason Worth will stand in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Boy, he has been a first strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that is into right field, a base hit. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Joey Votto is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Oh, and, oh, and Votto puts a charge into this one as this is in the air to deep right field. Back is Hunter, but this is over the wall, a home run. Jose Bautista will get another opportunity here as they've batted around now. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. He'll take the turn and head for second. Around second now, heading for third. And they'll keep it going here as he's into third base with a triple. Salvador Perez will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change will be forthcoming as that's going to do it tonight for Cliff Lee. Probably wishes he could have gone a little longer, but the move's already been made, and he's off to the showers. Ian Kroll is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. In there at the knees, strike one. I think that man right there is reaching the end of his wits. Oh, his team is absolutely imploding right now, and it basically came out of nowhere. 
Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Runner away from third. Now the pitch. Just a touch outside. One and two. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. And a great inning for him there as they push seven runs across the plate to make this a game again. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Cubs are on top, 9-7. James Newcomb will stride forward to lead it off. And I'd imagine he'll do so with some tired legs after being out in the field for that last half inning. Yeah, that was a killer. He could probably use a minute or two on the bench, but he gets pressed right back into action here. Now here's a swing and a ball hit out for Ruggiano in center field. One down. Albert Pujols will stand in. He's one for two so far. And Albert swings and hits a ground ball to short. On to first, and there were two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in a power threat here in the right-handed hitting Alfonso Soriano. Lined hard deep into left. Worth has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire. The Will Middlebrooks will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Offense, apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score Justin through the first half Ruggiano. of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Justin Ruggiano stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. and Good cut fastball in there, 1-1. One and one. One one pitch a curveball that's right there one ball two strikes now you can't look for a specific pitch you just got to protect the plate to two balls and two strikes now here's the pitch and he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away both teams with an even ten hits in the ball game ball hit pretty well out toward left center and Soriano will tuck this one away for round number two. Brian Dozier will step in. One for two in the ball game. And that misses for ball one. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They trail by a couple. It's 9-7. to seven. Wilson Betamid will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the first pitch. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And this is lined into left field, and the leadoff man will reach. It's a base hit. And this will bounce up against the Ivy now. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Well, that was a slider, but he didn't seem to have too much trouble with that one. He rips his right down the line. we will wind up making it into second with a leadoff double. Jason Castro will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. The tag from Perez. He's out at the plate. 
Boy, this was lining up to be a close play. It's a base hit, and he comes up throwing. And if this ball's offline by a foot or two, I think he's in there. Instead, it is right on the... Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And a fastball in the dirt, but it's blocked nicely as he keeps it in front of him. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. And this is past him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Roger Bernadina comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Well, you know, three straight hits are bad enough, but now he's making things even worse by falling behind the next guy. Looked like a slider there, swing, and a ball sent high in the air out to deep left center field. This one is way back there, and it is gone! A home run! So a three-run shot to left center, as this is now a five-run cushion. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a ball lined to the left side. And that hook's just foul. Boy, not by much more than an inch or two there. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And he will make the play out there as he ran to the right spot. And there are two away now. Derek Jeter will get another crack. One for three thus far. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. 1-0. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Now a ball hit hard towards center, and that will be a base hit for Jeter. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Boy, they are really sticking it to him right here. That's the fifth hit he's coughed up in this inning alone, and you got to believe that that lease is getting a little bit shorter with each passing batter. Here's a pouncing ball now back up the middle, and for the third time tonight, he's got himself a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second base, and now there are two on with two out. Boy, he has really taken a pounding out there. That's six hits now he's given up in just this inning alone, and it's beyond time for a change. You've got to get him out of there. Albert Pujols will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. Oh, and now meanwhile, this ball is cranked out to straightaway center field, and this one is going to leave the yard. It's a home run. Alfonso Soriano will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. First pitch on the way. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Swing and a high fly ball. This one out to deep left center field. And my gracious, the merry-go-round continues. He served up yet another home run. Wilson Betamy will dig in. He doubled his last time. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. Worth is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. Another good inning for the Cubs here, and you don't need me to tell you that these folks don't need much of a reason to have a good time. Back with more here. Gerald Laird will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number 12, Gerald Laird. Scott Downs 
will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. A chance here at least for this guy to get some work in in what should be a fairly low stress appearance. Yeah but it seems like these outings are where you relax a little bit too much you give up three runs and then watch your ERA climb by another point. You'll need to guard against that. And that's going to be a base hit so a great job off the bench and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Alcides Escobar will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Hunter is back near the ivy as he makes the catch for the first out. And with the big lead, he can afford to take a few chances with that fastball. And here, this one works out for him because this is nothing more than an easy fly ball. Jason Worth will step in, an RBI single this last time around. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1 0. Fouled back. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. And this is where a guy who's been around a long time knows hey, we're not going to make up the difference with just one swing. It's going to take base runners. So that's a good job of being really patient at the plate. And Bernardino will pull this one in. Two gone now. And with all the runs that have scored tonight, you'd think that ball would have had some carry to it. I don't think he got that one flush, though. Joey Votto will stand in yet again. And if you weren't with us earlier, let's take another look. This was back in the fourth inning with the bases loaded. A grand slam and definitely the big blow of the ball game so far. On the ground is second. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Justin Wilson will come on now to try and sort this mess out, as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Jason Castro will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes another 0-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Corey Hunter will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw to first, retires Hunter, and that's the second out of the inning. Roger Bernadina will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Ruggiano is right there as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. It's been a high-scoring affair thus far as we take a look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Jose Bautista will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And a scaling attempt to the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. Salvador Perez is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And Pujols will simply step on first to record the out. Will Middlebrooks will dig in with one in and one away. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Eight runs on 12 hits and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. 
Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Pitching him pretty careful here, wouldn't you say? Well, it's possible to be too careful. I mean, this is not a silver slugger award winner up there. You want this guy to hit the ball and put it in play. Fouled straight back. Three two pitch way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. The batter. Justin Ruggiano will stand Justin in. He flew out Ruggiano. his last time up. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander has begun to get loose. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. That's a pitch right there that you have to stay on top of or else it's just going to get away from you. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And Jeter will make the catch to retire the side. So one run on one hit, which was the home run, no errors, and no one left on base. Omir Santos is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. Well, I think this was going to be two bases for sure, but then all heck breaks loose getting it back in. He winds up taking third on throwing error. Derek Jeter will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. First pitch on its way to Jeter. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Yeah, on a high chopper like this, probably the right decision not to go after that guy from third. So he wisely just takes the out at first, and he allows the run to come home and score. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. In time to first, and there are two away. Now, looking ahead, you wonder if maybe he'll get one more shot at the cycle. Might need a little help, but it's not over for him yet. And here's the first pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. This crowd, likely in the 40,000 range, they've got to like what they've seen so far. Oh, and it's been a complete performance. They need to find a way to bottle this up and keep it going. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to Vado will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Andrew Newcomb will be summoned from the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start inning number eight. Andrew Newcomb. Brian Dozier will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And the eighth inning is underway with the ball swung on and grounded to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Sometimes we use the phrase, runs coming at a premium, but it's fair to say that none of us will be saying that tonight as we check out our line score. Neither pitching staff has really even showed up. Now a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. How about this out of the bullpen? 
three pitches, two outs. Can't do a whole lot better than that. Alcides Escobar will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Who holds? will put this one away, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail by a bunch. Brian Villarreal will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Alfonso Soriano will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Wilson Betami will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Ruggiano is there, two gone. Jason Castro will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Down go the Cubs on just four. Jason Worth will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Now the pitch. Got him. I want to remind you folks that coming up after the ball game, comprehensive highlights from the contest tonight as we look back on all the action right here on the show. Joey Votto comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. And this is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Votto here. 0-2. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. Jose Bautista will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And, oh. and this is all about handling a guy like this with kid gloves. You know, walk him if you have to, but don't let him be the one to beat you. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. No reason not to go for broke now. What do you got to lose? Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line and left. Hooking just a little. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Salvador Perez will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Fouled back. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit hard down the right field line. That's slicing just foul. 
swing, and he takes this the other way to right. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Break out the fire extinguishers. These guys are on fire. Seven straight wins. They've been as hot as any team in baseball, and they've really got things rolling out there now. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. And the Cubs were led tonight by the offensive exploits of this man, Albert Pujols strike a pose he's our top player of the game yeah he connected on a couple of long home runs really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory so that just about does it for ek psycho and the crew i'm matt vaskersian you've been watching mlb the show for more get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the shownation.com the cubs win this one People gon' dance to, give the record a...